Hi there, welcome to the virtual parents information evening. My name's Amanda McGarvey and I am one of the heads of science. My science is biology, so welcome to my biology department. Um, your young people have been following a level three, level four uh, broad general education course with us since August and they've been doing very successfully. So far they have covered all the ins and outs of cell biology. They have now, we're now coming towards the end of inheritance and reproduction and they will be doing an assessment towards the beginning of 2021. So I thought rather than me telling you what we do in fourth year, I've invited two fourth years along today. One, Michael, is a National 5 student and Alishba is a National 4 student. So I thought I would like to let you see what their idea and how hopefully they've enjoyed biology so far. The National 4 course this year. So the National 4 course, uh, the slight difference with that would be that it's continuous assessment throughout the year and there is no final year exam unlike what should have happened with the National 5 course. So just now, at least by you again, like Michael, have covered life on earth and you've also covered cell biology. Is there anything that kind of stands out from the course that you think that was a really enjoyable bit? I actually liked everything about the course. I found it really interesting because I kind of struggled with it last year and I found mm -hmm. it kind of like nice that I kind of recapped it. So. And do you think, so obviously I had the pleasure of teaching you last yeah. year. Do you think this was the best option for you to follow the National 4 course in preparation for National 5 for fifth year, do you think? Yeah. I yeah. Think so. uh -huh. yeah. So you've taken a slight bit of pressure off, but you still have assessments so don't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And how have you got on with them so far? I actually have got on really good, yeah, because I kind of remember the stuff you taught me last year yeah. and this year, and I find it quite easy now. Good, and so again, when you come into fifth year, are you wanting to come back and do National 5? Yeah. Yeah, and if you're successful there, what's your next option for biology? Um, would you like to go for higher? Or? Yeah, I would like yeah. to go for higher. So really the only thing that we can't offer you as part of the National 4 yeah. course is the advanced higher. You can do absolutely everything else. But bearing in mind, I sometimes, well this year I'm presenting 160 at higher and I've got 40 doing the advanced higher, so it isn't always the bulk of people that do the advanced higher course. So any downsides about biology? Mm, I, actually, I actually really like biology. Oh, I picked the best people <laughs> today. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much for that, Lisa. Thank you. You have obviously opted for to continue with biology from third year into fourth year. So how have you found the National 5 course so far? Um, so far it's been quite good. Um, I'm getting on with it really well. So. Is there anything that you think has been a bit of a challenge so far? Or do you think we're, you're all ready for the prelim that's coming up this uh, week? I'd say I'm ready for it. So good. I've gotten good test results so far. Brilliant. Now, what do you think about the, cha the, the fact that there is no final exam this year? That it is all on you and we're going to make these estimates so what do you think about that? Um, you just need to like put your head down in class more um, really prove to your teacher that you do deserve that like A or B whatever you want. Yeah. And what would your plan be now obviously fourth year will be coming to an end in summertime for you you want to continue with biology into fifth year? Uh, do you think? Yeah I think so. You think so? Yeah. Well good right best of luck thank you so much. Thank you. So far in the with a National 5 course you've covered cell biology which is obviously an extension of our third year course and you've also looked at the environmental section life on earth. Is there anything really kind of stood out from either of them for um, you? I just like the cell biology because you get to know like how the human body works and how all the different cells for all the different things like the bacterial cells, the fungal yeah. cells, how how they differ and how they function. And hopefully you should be able to apply that knowledge then when you start your final unit, which is multicellular organisms, yeah. where we can start to look at the organ themselves rather than just looking at it within the cell context. Is there anything you've not liked about biology? Um, not really. I do like this class, so. Good. Fantastic. So one of the biggest things about uh, taking biology is the number of people that want to do, I want to do medicine. But obviously medicine and being a science teacher isn't the only thing that you can do with a biology qualification. When I was at university, one of the people that actually contacted us in our graduate scheme was actually marketing and banking with the intention that because we are scientists, we're quite logical thinkers. 
So it's good to think outside the box. Yes, you have got medicine, you've got nursing, all the different areas of nursing, you've got vet med, you've got pharmacy, you've got a variety of different health and medical related uh, courses, physiotherapy, all the rest of it. But bearing in mind that research is a huge, big, massive field. Obviously, we're in this horrible pandemic at the moment, and who knows what's going to happen in future, whether it be for vaccines, medical programmes, you know, different types of medicine, that kind of idea. So I wouldn't pigeonhole myself into saying that biology can only lead to a biology course or a biology qualification or a, a biology uh, career. It actually opens up many, many doors and biology along with obviously the other associated sciences or maybe even something as, as, uh, as far wide as geography. It opens up a huge big field of different types of careers that you can possibly follow. So I wouldn't try and pigeonhole myself just now into what my career choice would be. I would definitely be thinking, what do I like to study? What do I like? What would I not mind spending my weekend revising? And if that is biology, then obviously biology is for you.